trail because it doesn't work. Um, hi, Joe Bonamassa here. Let me adjust the camera because I'm trying to get this lovely uh, Les Paul Forum hat that I received in the mail while I was on tour in full focus. Thank you, Charlie. Um, and thank you for the shipping and handling. It was free as well. Um, welcome to my house again. And uh, Charlie's been on me about doing another lesson. And I've been kind of ill for the last month and uh, haven't been able to get around to it. So I feel pretty good today and uh, decided to uh, break out a, a, some guitar here that just showed up in my house and, uh, and uh, maybe learn a few things, you know, for me. Not for you, but for me, actually, because I really don't know what I'm doing sometimes. But uh, when I was just playing, I was uh, doing this thing, you know, we, you know, not a lot of times, you know, you find yourself without a pick, you know, the pick is kind of a crutch. And, you know, I'm the same way. I always use a pick, but I use kind of a hybrid technique of pick and fingers. But sometimes I find it really valuable, especially at home, when you're wood shedding, um, to use no pick at all and just see what kind of expressive guitar playing you can come up with with just your hand. You know, Jeff Beck does a really good job with it. You know, many people have just used a pick, Niels Lofgren being one of them, without, you know, no pick, actually. And, um, you know, some people use thumb picks, Johnny Winter used thumb picks and finger picks and, you know, but sometimes you get a really, really great tone and a really, really expressive feel without using a guitar pick. So today, I figured I'd show you a few examples. Just using the thumb and your index finger, middle finger, I won't do a demonstration with that, but here it is. So a lot of these like little half bends are well suited if you just kind of strike with your thumb. So here we go. <laughs> you kind of grab a note, being in the key of A, and you kind of just bend until that harmony kind of kind of locks in. It's a little out of tune, but it, but it's, it rubs in a good way, you know? And a lot of times, you know, it's very expressive, especially over kind of a blues setting, you know, because most of the stuff that we, we, we talk about is a, a blues setting, you know. Use the world's most expensive guitars to play the world's, you know, most undervalued music, kind of, you know. But um, that's basically what we do. But if you're playing an A, major, slightly out of tune, like I am, um, but these, these little bends are really good, you know, especially if you do the little half bends, like we start A here. C, and then you bend up to the major third, and if you use your just, you know, thumb and middle finger or index finger, you get a really nice feel. And the thing about playing guitar is it's all about channeling the emotion that you feel in your heart and your soul and in your, you know, in your head, you know, to the listener. And this is a really, really good way. So, you know, Joe B, tip of the day or tip of the month or tip every 90 days. Sometimes when you're just woodshedding and bored, like I am off tour, um, throw the pick away for a minute, you know, and see what comes out of just your, your hands and try to use these like kind of very emotive half bends and and just your fingers and I think you'll be very very uh, pleased with the results um, so thank you Les Paul Forum thank thank you Charlie for the hat it's a lovely fit by the way I, I have I have an unusually large head that's what they say online but um, so this fits perfectly so thank you very much uh, and um, good luck everybody